time for our Sunday tradition. For the final time in 2023, it's time to take a look back at this week's High School Heroes. We start tonight with a three-peat at the Princeville Holiday Tournament. For the third straight year, the Elmwood Trojans girls are walking away as tournament champs after knocking off the host princes in the title game. May Herman leading the way for a holiday three-peat. And in the boys' bracket at Princeville, the trophy is staying at home. The host Prince boys had a great run en route to winning their own tournament title. Led by seniors like Tayshawn Kieser and Parker Mielek, the Princes are tournament champions. The DMAC girls are bringing a holiday tournament trophy back to Mackinac. In a run that saw them avenge their lone loss of the year to Porta, the Chiefs won the Riverton Holiday Tournament behind a tourney MVP performance from super sophomore Dahlia to Jesus. DMAC is rolling. Metamora went to Chicagoland and made a statement this week. The Redbirds navigated their way through a loaded 32-team field to win the Jack Tosh Holiday Classic at Elmhurst, York. Tyler Mason, the tournament MVP for the champion Redbirds. It was championship squared for normal community at the State Farm Holiday Classic. The Iron Boys and Girls both won the large school brackets at the tournament in impressive fashion. The boys showing off their high-flying dunks. The girls with swarming defense on the way to a title sweep. And the moment of the week belongs to El Paso Gridley's Chauncey Maxson. The Titans down by two in the closing seconds of the small school's boys championship at State Farm. A mad chase for a potential game tying shot. Instead, the ball ends up with Maxson who launches for the game winner from deep. Nothing but the bottom. A wild celebration. Chauncey Maxson the hero for EPG as we wrap up this week's High School Heroes.